if you want to place yourself in a circle like we have here, like perhaps you're creating a tutorial style video, you know, instead of just having yourself perhaps squeezed down in a rectangle and then placed wherever you like uh, to place it. Instead, you want a nice modern looking circle. Well, it's easy to do here in DaVinci Resolve by using the color page. So we're gonna start with two different video tracks. You're gonna have your main video track or your tutorial video track, your screen recording track, or of course, whatever else you want, uh, you want behind you. Make sure that is on the video one track and then place the video of you on top of that. Then select the video of you and come over to the color page. Then you'll want to select your power windows. So if you're not on that, uh, on that section by default, just click it right there and select a circle. Okay, I'll hit Alt F just to give us a little bit, a little bit more uh, space. Then use our controls to size this up. Want to center it around your subject. Of course, make sure you keep it within the frame. You don't want it to, uh, to go outside of the frame. So kind of center it up and then take the softness way down. Now you want to leave a little bit of softness, otherwise it looks a little bit harsh uh, once it's overlaid over your other video. So just a little bit of softness. So that looks pretty good. I can come in here and manually adjust it a bit. I don't want too much extra in the uh, headroom there. So I'm just going to center, you know, center it up or of course use your controls here as well. Just center that up, hit Alt F again to go back to our full view here. And I'll zoom out on this just by using the mouse scroll wheel. So that looks pretty good. Now, if we come back to the edit page, you're not going to see anything different yet. And that's because we need to create an alpha output. You can see we have the proper area right up here selected, but there's no alpha. So let's right click in a gray area and add alpha output. Then just grab your blue square or your alpha output there and drag it right to the alpha output. And there you go. All right, head back to the edit page. Now, of course, it's not sized down yet. We can do that over here in our inspector. I'm going to come back to color real quick and just move this around a little bit more, maybe tighten it up just a smidge. OK, so that looks pretty good right there. Head back to your edit page. That looks pretty good. It's pretty centered. Very good. Again, select that track. Make sure it's selected. If your inspector is not open, open it up right there and use your zoom and position controls to put that wherever you want on your screen. Oftentimes you'll see these in, in you know, a corner. So it looks pretty good up there. It can look pretty good down here or you know, wherever you want. I usually put mine over here, size it to whatever size you prefer. It doesn't matter. I'll just squeeze it down here. That looks good. Of course, zoom in here using your mouse scroll wheel if you really want to get in there and position things. Once you get it wherever you want, whatever size you want. There we go. I'll press Z on the keyboard to center uh, that in the frame. And there we go. We have got it. There it is. Looks great. Looks much better than just having a standard you know, rectangle uh, video of yourself over top of your uh, tutorial video. All right. So that's a real quick way, an easy way to put yourself within a circle and have a modern looking tutorial style video here in DaVinci Resolve. And again, you can always come back to your color page. And, uh, you know, if you need to reposition things, you can always do that back here, even after you've sized things down uh, with your inspector controls over in the, uh, the edit page. Now, real quick, I'll take that softness all the way down. And if we zoom way in here, you can see that this edge is pretty harsh. So that's why I say, make sure you leave a little bit of softness, but you don't want to go crazy with the softness because then you end up getting this sort of halo effect. Um, of course, if you like that, go ahead. But in general, just take this down somewhere around, I don't know, 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, somewhere in there. And that looks much, much better on, uh, on your video. All right. So that's how you put yourself in a circle and create a more modern looking tutorial style video here in DaVinci Resolve.